everyone. Welcome to Marvel Live from New York Comic Con 2014, brought to you by Marvel Contest of Champions. I'm Lorraine Singh, host and writer of Marvel's The Watcher, joined by... Marvel.com editor Ben Morris, and we have the great pleasure of having with us a lecture artist and just phenomenal artist in yes. general, Mike Del Mundo, who's never been on the show before and was a big get for us. We're really excited to have you on. Oh, thanks, thanks. We Hello. are all huge fans of your art. Uh, oh, yeah. Me and Lorraine specifically. So beautiful. Um, you guys are lying. No, we're not lying. Not we're, lying. We're, True we're, fact. So you, you must have had, all right, at this point, you must have had enough people tell you how great your art is that you believe people. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So, so you said you're down in Artist Alley, you've been working there. Have you done any panels or anything like that, or just pure drawing this weekend? Uh, we did the 75th anniversary signing okay, from cool. yesterday, which was amazing because I got to meet all my idols, yeah. and oh, it was crazy. So. Who who were you excited to meet in particular? Um, I wasn't even, I didn't know what to expect. So I went there and uh, they sat me right beside Todd McFarlane. Oh, so no I kidding. Was like, yeah. Nice. So you got a pretty sweet seat. Yeah, yeah. And I was Not like, bad. oh God, um, hey, my name's Mike. Yeah. <laughs> hey, my name's Todd. And I was like, that's it. I was like, yeah, I, I was a bit, uh, um, I was in shock. So yeah, that was great. And I also met um, Kevin Smith. Yeah. And uh, who else was it? Yeah, those are the main guys. But, those are, I mean, you know, those are two but, huge But names. everybody was there, like all yeah. the legends, so it was amazing. That's yeah. pretty cool. And now you're part of all that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Part of all that. You're working on Electra, which is a book with a, you know, a lot of pedigree, the character. You, you, you've been borrowing a lot of influences, but I feel like you've really made the character your own very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. It's very cool. But who are some of your influences? I feel like, obviously, Sienkiewicz, but who else yeah. are you drawing on there? Um, Sienkiewicz is like an automatic, just because when, you, when you're coming after him, especially... Mm -hmm. Electra, he's already paved that yeah. experimental and crazy creative uh, road for you, right? Especially for Electra. So yeah. it's hard not to avoid being influenced by, by the legend, yeah. right? Um, but other than Sienkiewicz, which is amazing, uh, Norman Rockwell, Lane Decker, all those old school artists. Yeah. Um, in terms of artists that I was into from the 90s, uh, it, it's all the image artists. Yeah. Uh, like I mentioned, Todd McFarlane, yeah. Jim Lee. Rob Liefeld, uh, Mark Silvestri. Um, there's so many to name, yeah, but yeah, from course. there. And um, m one of my biggest inspirations is uh, Chris Burchalo. Oh, wow. yeah. oh, yeah, he's yeah, great. So, um, but yeah, it's hard to name all of them. I'm sure I'm, sure I'm going to forget them all. But <laughs> it's all good. You do guys. a good job yeah. synthesizing it. Yeah. Uh, you have such a distinct style, especially in Electra. Mm -hmm. I feel like it is one of the most distinct visual books that we have. Uh, is there... Uh, any sort of style that you were like, I really want to bring this kind of style to that page? Well, what's amazing about Electra is, like I said before, was Sankevich already kind of like paved the road for, mm -hmm. for a book that you can go pretty much nuts. Yeah. yeah. Right? So um, I was already doing almost like a painted style. And yeah. a, a f before that, I was working on X-Men Legacy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we were already we going, talk about that. Yeah, we were already <laughs> get going high concept on that. And what I wanted to do was take what I was doing with covers and hopefully, um, you know, translate that into the interiors. Yeah. So with all the double spray, uh, double page spreads that Hayden uh, wrote for me, yeah. um, it worked out. Yeah. So, yeah, it, I mean, it was just natural the way we went for that book. Yeah, yeah. I want to ask yeah, kind of like the that. division there because Hayden obviously is ready to script the, the, the caters to you, allowing you to do these double page spreads, but yeah. you also just lay it out in such a an interesting way you do mm -hmm. a lot of different stuff especially with fight scenes or like flashbacks oh, or stuff yeah. like that mm -hmm. what's kind of the division of labor with you and you and Hayden how do you come up with stuff like that sequences I think like that it's pretty equal actually mm -hmm. like he has like a detailed script that explains uh, what he wants in that double page spread or even in the panels mm -hmm. uh, but if I look at something I and I think I could even add to it or make it better mm -hmm. then I'll you know I'll, I'll let him know and most of the time if he's cool with it yeah we go for it so it's a 50-50 split. Uh, a lot of, when we first started working on Electra, especially the first issue, he was looking at a lot of the ideas that I was working on. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he took those ideas and actually was able to put them into the story. So oh, cool. from then on, it, it was just almost like it came natural. We just we were like, let's try this pattern for the next issues. So yeah. That's awesome. And now you guys can also tweet along with us, just hashtag MarvelNYCC, and I will check the Twitter periodically. Uh, you're also, I mean, I, I don't know how you don't just paint this book because it is, 
it's such a work of art. It mm -hmm. looks very painterly, but you co-color as well, correct? Yeah, I have. Uh, I, I definitely need help, and I have my friend, uh, my friend and, and artist partner Marco D'Alfonso, mm -hmm. and he and he, he he not just helps color and and does the lighting, but he also like looks at certain par like pieces of like those panels, and if there's something that he thinks he can fix, I give him the go ahead. So if he, if there's an arm that looks too long, or if, you know if Electra's hair is too short, he'll add to it, and I trust I completely trust him on that. So he's a big help, and you know. I could say that I do it on my own, but uh, man, to do like a painted book like that, you definitely need like a team behind sure. you. Yeah. You mentioned X-Men Legacy earlier. Mm -hmm. Those covers were oh, yeah. incredible. And those are something that legit, we would, you know, we'll get sent covers around the Marvel offices. And that's one that I know Daniel Ketchum and kind of, you know, in a very braggy way, as he is, <laughs> would send those around everyone just to kind of be like, hey guys, look what I got. Yeah. And we would be like, I, how did you do this? How did you keep coming up with fresh ideas for that? You know, were you collaborating with those guys, or were you just saying like, "I got an idea"? Those were amazing. Yeah, I mean, it was it was it went both ways. We we when I when we first started working on it, uh, we would get the script from uh, Simon Spurrier, and mm -hmm. he'd jot down his ideas, mm -hmm. and Di Daniel would do the same thing, and I would take those and I would elaborate on them. Mm -hmm. So it was like a back and forth thing. And, and like I said, I mentioned with Marco Defonso. I, I mean, I'm putting his name out there, yeah. but but he's like one of the guys that I go and draw with. So we go to coffee shops and we just go back and forth on brainstorming. That's how I mainly get my ideas. It's just bouncing ideas, and we just build on that. So um, yeah, that's how that's how I came up with a lot of the stuff for Legacy. It's crazy. Yeah. Is there a particular character outside of what has been your sort of stable of what you've been able to do that you are dying to draw? I grew up with the X-Men, so yep. anything yeah. X-Men related, I'm totally in. All right, so yeah. what era of X-Men did you grow up with? The 90s. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, uh, so the best era. Yeah, Uncanny X-Men. Um, I, I remember issue 275. I just picked that, picked that up at this store called Smith's yeah. um, back in Toronto. Yep. Yeah. And I still remember I've it. I've heard of it. Yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I still have it to this day, and yeah. every day I show my wife, and I'm like, look at this, and she doesn't really care, but I'm ah. just like, like <laughs> I can still smell it and, and everything from the back. And, yeah. You know, 90s. Oh yeah, no, very yeah. Fit, very similar situation at my home life. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> well, that's awesome. So, you, wh wh which of the X would you like to draw? My favorite character is Archangel. Oh man, oh, that would uh, be beautiful. Yeah. He's also the hardest character. Yeah, and a character that <laughs> I've never actually drawn. A lot of I've, lines. Yeah. Uh, so that's yeah, right. Archangel. That'd be cool. Yeah. Uh, we have a question coming in from Twitter from Sophia in España. Thank you very much, Sophia. Hi, Sophia. Uh, what part of drawing Electra is the most difficult for you? Oh, drawing Electra is actually the yeah. most difficult for me because <laughs> she's just even how Sankevich uh, drew her. She's just uh, she just has to be like a strong mm -hmm. looking character, and it's mm -hmm. a lot. It's a lot of work. I mean, if if I'm drawing like Captain America, he's easy. I could just he's easy. <laughs> 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 but what I'm saying is like yeah, Electra just has to be strong beautiful and just especially with emotions yeah. um she, she you're, you're trying to draw the line between giving her not giving her too much expression that you're breaking her out of character and that was hard for me oh yeah so that's yeah so what do you no go ahead Lorraine. oh i know you I got a question say, on your lips i can hear <laughs> I, you can feel my attention um <laughs> Also, I think something that you capture really well with Electra is her movement. You know, she is an assassin. She she's very a very physical character, and I feel like you really catch the movement. Is there any way that you uh, try to to do that? I know you use kind of a lot of organic feel, but yeah, it's 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 really like trying to just be loose with it, um, especially with uh, the tools that I use um, digitally. Mm -hmm. um, I try to I try not to work too much on it, like put too much detail into it, because you lose that, that movement. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to uh, almost like work off of the rough, mm -hmm. right? And uh, I also have that consciously like in mind, so yeah. Cool. Mike, it's been great having you yeah. on. Thank you for coming on. I, this is Thanks. the first time we got to chat with you. Hopefully it won't be the last. Yeah. And uh, looking forward to what's coming up in Electra and what's yeah. coming next, all the other stuff that's coming up. And uh, thank, just thanks for coming on. Where can people find you online if they want to chat or follow more of your stuff? Uh, you can get me at uh, my Twitter feed, uh, at Deadly Mike. Uh, you could also check my website, www.deadlydelmundo.com. <laughs> or you could just check my name out. I'm, I'm easy to find, Facebook or, or whatever. Just Google me. Cool. Yeah. Well, Mike Del Mondo, thanks for joining us. Guys, we're going to be back in a little bit with the cast of Marvel's Daredevil. 
Till then, keep sending us your questions using Twitter. Use the hashtag MarvelNYCC. We are Marvel Live at New York Comic Con 2014. And we are brought to you by Marvel Contest of Champions. Stick I, around. I thought I'd try. I thought I'd try a throw. Hey, everybody. This is Blake with Marvel.com.